the NBA has announced as part of the upcoming season, 23-24 season, the introduction of a player rest policy. And with this player rest policy, they are going to ensure that teams are no longer going to be allowed to rest two stars in one game without a doctor's note. No, without without <laughs> legitimate without legitimate reasons, legitimate circumstances to do so. And they define the term all-star as a player who's made the all-star team in either of the prior three years. All-NBA or all-star team in either of the prior three years. So they don't want multiple stars sitting out. They want Clippers. teams. Right. The, the Los Angeles load managements. <laughs> they want teams to ensure that star players are available for national TV and in-season tournament games. You have to have legitimate reasons if players are, are or if your two stars or your multiple stars are to miss games, um, you're going to have to be on a pre-approved list to miss back-to-backs. And to be on that pre-approved list, you have to be over 35 years old <laughs> at the start of the season. Okay. Um, career workload of greater than 34,000 regular season and playoff minutes. <laughs> Okay. They, they get real scientific with it. Or, it sounds like they're writing that in for LeBron. I'm just yeah. saying. It sounds very yeah. pointed, but go ahead. Sorry. Or greater than or equal to 1,000 regular season and playoff games played. It says if a star player meets either of the criteria above, the player's team may seek approval from the league office to invoke this section of the policy as a basis for the player being unavailable to play in back-to-back games. All right, so that there's LeBron's out. Right. <laughs> There's LeBron's out as written Specific. as written by Urban. Rich Paul. Oh, you know, they, 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 there's LeBron's out as written by Rich Paul and Mav <laughs> Carter and the good people of uh, of Clutch Sports in Spring Hill. So there that is, man. That that's just part of it. But what what you think about this policy uh that the NBA is rolling out here? Um, players, agents, uh, doctors, teams, they're going to find a way around it. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but as far as the NBA, not, not including the Knicks, I'm, I'm cool with it. They got to do something, uh, yeah. for sure. It's becoming an issue. I, I, again, I know if you find this anywhere, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or sorry, X, Instagram, Reddit, wherever you see a, a big old picture of uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George yeah. in suits next to each other in a, in different suits because there's so many pictures of them. So I know that this is primarily pointed at uh, the, the Clippers or teams like that. And I think it's a, it's for sure something that's very necessary, something that needs to uh, be uh, figured out because you could tell on uh, the last two years they were not making up injuries, but they were making up injuries, you know, and then it just got to a point where it became lazy and the, lo- the whole load management thing started. Uh, so I think this is a good start. Um, I still feel like there's going to be a way where they might do like a take turns kind of thing. Yeah, uh, there's going to be it's going to get figured out within the NBA of some kind of loophole to make it work. I don't know. But for the most part, to try and get these guys on the court, uh, it, it, you know, it's going to help. Uh, I, I was hearing people saying that these guys might play a few minutes and then sit out the rest of the game so that they meet their minute mark or whatever, because they're, they're already going to have to figure out those kind of workarounds to even get on the all NBA team. Yeah. Cause that change happened as well. Um, yeah, it, it, it's definitely necessary, but um, I'm still interested to see the, the workarounds that are going to be uh, made from yes. a lot of these players this year. Cause it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, I'm, I'm the, I'm waiting to see how Cuban circumnavigates this policy because you know he's going to figure yeah. out a way to get Luca and Kyrie some rest. He's yeah. a guy that that flouts the rules all the time, but they did include this one, and I think maybe this was going at him. This is uh, called shutdowns. It says teams must refrain from any long-term shutdown or near shutdown whereby a star player ceases participating in games or begins to play a materially reduced role in circumstances affecting the integrity of the game. Okay. This should have been in from last okay. year I when they them. sat Luka Doncic down, yes. hanked the last last game or two of the season, and cost the Knicks a draft pick. Hmm. Interesting one. And that, that was all. I mean, remember, the, the Blazers sat out Dame. Same thing, yep. Uh, yep. When, when they got their tank going, they, they were greasing the tank, uh, Tread, to sit down Dame. And uh, that's going to be interesting as well, man. 
gonna be very. Damian Lillard out with a headache. Yeah, yeah. Right. They, did, they did something similar. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> they, Damian Lillard out with a migraine. Now, they do say here that they will provide end of season flexibility. Teams will be afforded additional flexibility to manage their rosters in a reasonable manner at the end of the regular season, and uh, e.g., to rest the star player in the team's last regular season game after the team has clinched a specific, a specific playoff seed or to rest a pre-approved player with prior serious or unusual injury history in the team's final regular season game. So they'll give you a little bit, bit of a break. Let's yeah. say the Knicks clinch the top seed. We put in a lot of work on the Tibbs. We're going to decide to rest Randall and, and Brunson it. It. when hell freezes Stop. over. And, <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> And give Deuce and uh, Isaiah Roby an extra look there. Ain't nothing about this new rule, said Knicks, in my yeah. mind. As long as that man, Tom Thibodeau, is our head coach, <laughs> ain't nothing about any of this pertains to our NBA team. Ain't nobody sitting out mid-time. No, have we ever had a load management day no. for any of our players in the yeah. since they brought in load management? No. So when I saw any of this, I was not thinking about the Knicks at all because Tom Thibodeau did not care. We could be 16 whatever by the end of the season. You better expect Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson will be laced up at the end of the season. But yeah. for that that ad, I like that. I, I'm I'm completely fine with that. I feel like if, if you're if you're on the opposite side of it, not looking to tank, but you're locked in. I think you're completely fine resting the dude to get ready for the playoffs. That doesn't bother me. Um, it's just the other way around, like what the Mavericks and other teams were doing last year. I think that's where it's more of a a, a headache or more of a more frustrating, uh, especially when you know they have the the possibility of being in the playoffs, but they chose draft instead, and you're just yeah. allowed to openly do that. You can't have that. So, uh, but yeah, for teams that are locked into the playoffs for a second seed, and you. You know, last week of the year, I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I don't bother yeah. me at all. I, I, I like that. So to everybody in the chat, hit that like button, hit that share button, subscribe to the channel. Another episode of Next Weekly, episode 72, CP the Franchise, CK2K in the building. Uh, just chopping it up on the latest Knicks news and around the league. Salute to all our franchise channel members in the chat. Will Latimer, I see you. Jamaica Queens 22, salute. Hey. Junior Caroma, good win. Will Hooper, ill will, salute. So to everybody in here, man. King Matthews back in the building. A seven-month franchise channel member. Salute to King Matthews. We definitely appreciate you. Salute to John Talento in here. Jay from PR. My guy Jay Cal checked in here first. Shout out to Jay Cal. I got to catch up on the uh, on the content from the All In Summit that was out there in LA. I heard it was a uh, a great event in year two. So shout out to Jay Cal and the team for putting on another solid, excellent production. Um, so on on this load management front, like you said, CK, does it impact the Knicks? No, for two reasons. Number one, uh, the Knicks ain't going for load management. <laughs> Tibbs ain't going for that. And number two, we mentioned the definition of star player is anyone who made All NBA or All Star in each in either of the previous three years. Well, the Knicks only have one player that's done that. And that goes back to Julius Randle. So number 59. Number 59 on the list. So <laughs> theoretically, if hell freezes over, they could rest Randle and Brunson in back-to-back -back games, in, in one game, in two games, in three games, and have no disciplinary actions come from the league. So there that is, man. Tibbs is Tibbs is doing the Birdman hand rub. <laughs> yeah i'm just trying to realistically yeah. see if that would happen it's just not it's yeah. not but no. it's good to know it, yeah. i mean it's good to know that we are you know we have that opening if he feels like taking yeah. it which he won't T tibbs is doing the Birdman hand rope. <laughs>